Hello everyone. Here in this video, we are going to see non-uniform bending beam loaded in the middle. Here we are going to consider a beam which is kept between two knife edges A and B. The distance between the two knife edges B L. We are putting a weight at the center of the beam. Let W be the weight and due to its weight the beam bends at the center. And so there is a reaction at these two knife edges which acts vertically upwards and the reaction is W by 2. At the center it is nearly horizontal. So it is considered to be of having two inverted cantilevers that is from O to A one cantilever and from O to B another cantilever which is in the inverted form. So the length of this cantilever is L by 2 and its um, load in the free end is W by 2. Likewise at this end also the length is from 0 to B the length is L by 2 and the load at the free end is W by 2. Here we are considering one half of the beam that is OA which is an inverted cantilever. Let us take a point P at a distance x from O. The elevation at point P is y. Now the moment of deflecting couple on this point is equal to W by 2 into L by 2 minus x. Since we are taking half of the beam L by 2 comes and the weight on one knife edge is W by 2. The bending moment of the beam is equal to y ig by r where r is the radius of curvature. In equilibrium both these are equal. So we can write w by 2 into l by 2 minus x is equal to y i g by r. We know that the radius of curvature r is equal to 1 by d square y by dx square. Since the elevation is very small we can write radius of curvature r to be equal to 1 by d square y by dx square. So substituting in this equation we get W by 2 into L by 2 minus x is equal to y i g by 1 by d square y by dx square. So we want to find the elevation y. So we have we want to re rearrange this equation like d square y by dx square equal to w by 2 y i g into l by 2 minus x. So this is equation number 4. To get the elevation y we need to integrate this equation. So integrating this we get dy by dx is equal to w by 2 yig integral l by 2 
minus x into dx. Integrating we get dy by dx is equal to w by 2 y i g lx by 2 minus x square by 2 plus c1 the constant of integration. To find c1 we use boundary condition that is at x is equal to 0 there is no elevation so dy by dx is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0 dy by dx is equal to 0 so c1 will all be also equal to 0 so we get dy by dx is equal to w by 2y i g lx by 2 minus x square by 2. This is equation number 7. Again we are going to integrate this equation to get the elevation y. So we get y is equal to w by 2y i g integral lx by 2 minus x square by 2 into dx. Which is equal to w by 2y i g l x square by 4 minus x cube by 6 plus c1 c2 sorry c2 the constant of integration. Now we want to find the value of c2. So again we apply the boundary condition at x is equal to 0 y is also equal to 0. So at x is equal to 0 y equal to 0. So we get c2 to be equal to 0. So this equation 9 becomes y equal to w by 2y i g into lx square by 4 minus x cube by 6. At x is equal to l by 2 that is here at this end at x is equal to l by 2 y is equal to delta. So at x is equal to l by 2 y is equal to delta. So substituting this in this equation we get delta is equal to w by 2 y i g L into L by 2 the whole square by 4 minus L by L by 2 the whole cube by 6. So we get delta is equal to W by 2y i g into L cube by 16 minus L cube by 48 which is equal to W L cube by 48 
y i g. So this equation gives the elevation at the knife edge. The elevation at the knife edge is same as the depression at the middle O. Now we are going to see the special case. First for rectangular cross section. Here we know that <coughs> IG is equal to BDQ by 12. So substituting here we get delta is equal to WLQ by 48 Y into BDQ by 12 which is equal to W L Q by 4 Y B D Q. Here W is, e is the weight which is equal to M G. So using this in this uh, elevation we get delta is equal to mg l cube by 4 y b d cube. This equation 12. The second case is for circular cross section. Here IG is equal to pi r per 4 by 4. So substituting in 11 we get delta is equal to WL cube by 48 Y pi r per 4 by 4 which is equal to W L cube by 12 Y pi R power 4. When we put W equal to M G we get M G L cube by 12 Y pi R power 4. So this gives the elevation at the knife edge or we can say the depression at the middle. Using this equation we also we can also find the Young's models of the material. Thank you.